Hello dear friends, this is Dark Lord again with new learning video. In this video, I'm going to take over Star Sketch Rodan, who is one of the main bosses and a short bit of Elden Ring. But before starting this fight, just to let you know that uh, this is not a cheese but rather an easy technique how to defeat this boss. And before starting, let me share my stats with you. I am level 75 right now and I have a figure of 26 and dexterity of 22. I'm also using some of the talismans to increase my stats, uh, which you can also use. And you can also understand that uh, I'm not very upgraded at the moment, so obviously if I can do it, you can also do it. So now I've entered into the main arena and once you enter into the main arena, just get onto your torrent and run in either right or left direction because you will be greeted with a powerful magic uh, bolt that you saw. Uh, 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 he he would start Radan would start hitting you with these balls. Now all you have to do is you have to ride on your torrent and you have to summon your uh, allies with so that they can hit and they can attack Radan. And the easy way to do this is like wherever you find these white flags, there would be something beneath it. Uh, so you have to follow these white flags. Uh, you can see that there are many white flags over there uh, in the background. You just go to them and you will find a summon sign uh, down there and you can easily summon these uh, your allies who can then fight with Radan along with you to defeat this boss. So now this is uh, this this was the first time I was playing this boss and obviously I didn't know how to defeat this boss so I made multiple mistakes in this one but uh, because like while you play obviously you also learn multiple things so what I learned was like you don't have to kill this boss on your own just just summon your allies and they will do it for you all that you have to do is you have to keep running away from him if you have some magic spells just hit him with these magic spells from far away you don't have to get near him just let your uh, allies uh, defeat this boss and once these allies are dead you can resummon these bo uh, these allies again so it's you, you don't have to worry about that these allies are going to die because you can again resummon them all that you have to do is you have to get near these white flags you can see all along uh, they are in in this arena just go to them and uh, hit a summon sign there and there will be uh, uh, resummoned again okay. and as you can see that uh, what I'm doing is that I'm staying away from this boss and hitting him from far away with my magic to help my allies uh, defeat him and as you can see that my allies are doing a really good job he's already half of his head down and uh, no, I, I was a bit greedy at this time uh, because this boss was knocked down and I thought that I, it's a good idea to hit him with my sword but you don't have to do it just stay away and let your allies do the trick and you can see that i am again running from these summon signs to resummon my allies and they, they are already dead uh, you can see that there is no one fighting with him right now no. except for one of my ally who is running behind him trying to attack him but this boss is all aggroed up against me and trying to hit me and knock me off but um, my technique is, is again the same to run away from him try to skip all of his attacks just be careful that while you are running away on the torrent it also consumes your stamina so you have to be careful with your stamina as well so i am now coming to read someone one more so as you can see that i have resummoned one, one more uh, okay so I, I got a hit so this is this this is what happens when you come near him so uh, i would always suggest that you just stay away from him try to strike him with your magic from far away just let your summons do all all of the stuff for you and it doesn't matter whether you defeat the boss or your summons defeat the boss along with you the boss would be defeated so you don't have to worry about it so now i'm just helping my summons uh, to deal more damage to this boss and to defeat him earlier so now he's almost half of his way down and as you can see that he has flew up in the sky so this means that he is going into the second phase this this will give you a little while so that it's again a golden chance to increase and uh, increase more of your summons just make sure that when he drops off you are not near him because it, it gives a huge amount of uh, damage to your hp so just stay away you can see that i am again trying to run towards these white flags because once you are there you will find you can see that there is a someone over there again i'm going over there uh, to show you uh, under this white flag you will see that there would be a summon over there you can see yes there it is so this this is a trick to understand because this is a huge arena so obviously it would be very difficult for you to find like where someone is and where the someone is not so always follow these white uh, flags and you will find someone uh, some someone under it 
and then they will do the trick for you so as you can see uh, it's it's not a difficult boss it's not even engaging you it's it's just engaging all of your summons and all that you have to do is you have to hit him from far away and uh, you can easily defeat him uh, well i i when, when i was playing against this boss for the first time obviously he took me off uh, for a couple of times because like it, it takes a while to understand like what this boss uh, moves are but i i was amazed to see like how people were saying it, it's a difficult boss and you need this and that strategy to de defeat this boss but honestly speaking i found it very easy and the strategy is also quite simple all that you have to do is you have to hit him from far away and let your allies uh, deal the damage so as you can see that we are uh, around 75 percent uh, of his health so i think uh, uh, this technique and this uh, strategy is working i'm again resummoning one of my ally who was dead so uh, th this is the way you can see uh, I, I'm resummoning all of my allies again and you don't have to worry about if they are dead or, or if they are alive all that you have to do is just take care of yourself just don't, don't get don't get hit by him don't don't die you can see that I'm almost down my health but I have refilled it again one more thing that I would like to mention here is that I'm using a uh, great glintstone shard as my magic because it's fast and it gives robust amount of damage to the boss I've also used uh, rock slings against this boss. They also give a good amount of damage to the boss. But the problem with rock slings is that uh, they they take a lot of time, and sometimes uh, it's it's also very difficult because they they consume a lot of your FP. So it's also difficult if you miss uh, the attack, then obviously you, you lose a lot of your FP. And because like when you would be playing against this boss you would be at early stage of your game and uh, definitely you won't be having um, many of the fp flask or many of the uh, hp flask so you have to take care of this as well as you can see now uh, this boss is almost uh, down his health and i don't know like where did he go he flew up in the sky <laughs> he's supposed to do it in his second uh, phase uh, this is second time he has done it in this uh, phase. I, I don't know like usually he does it for the one for one time Maybe because like we are taking a lot of time. So he's doing it uh, for the second time Yeah, he's running from behind me uh, Trying to hit me, but again, uh, I'm trying to survive and I hope that I will survive uh, Because I I'm also on the horse and running away from him anyways So as you can see uh, it took a lot of time uh, I mean this is over seven or eight minutes maybe at the moment but slowly and gradually eventually it will consume all of his health and we will defeat this boss as you can see yeah this this should be the last one I think uh, yeah uh, yes there it goes so we have defeated this shard bearer boss and there you are so I think this was quite an easy technique and I, I think you will like this and you will enjoy playing in this way <laughs> obviously it's if you are a melee player obviously this would be a quite boring thing for you to do but if you are playing very early in the game and if you are not a pro player then definitely I think this technique will help you out so I think that uh, if you like the video if you do please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to encourage uh, and I think that's it for for today uh, have a very nice day.